Well, folk, well, folks, here's one of my prized possessions. It was given to me when I was, I think, in the ninth grade or so. I was uh, 15. My father knew that I liked collections of old newspaper comics from the turn of the 20th century, you know, the early 1910s, 1920s. And he said, Fred, there's a book of Little Nemo. And I said, Little Nemo, there's a book? Because I knew of Little Nemo. There's my signature, by the way. Fred Weems. My handwriting when I was 15. In any case, this book says Nostalgia Press, Box 293, Franklin Square, New York. And, uh, see what else here? All rights reserved, blah, blah, blah. 1972, New York by Nostalgia Press. Printed and bound in Milan, Italy. By Aldo Garzanti Editor, ASPA. The publisher would like to thank the following for their help in producing this volume. Bill Blackbeard, Paola Adele, Orietta Garzanti, Giovanni Gandini, Salvatore Gregorietti, Irving M. Mendelssohn, and James LeBeouf. And, uh, anyway... Look how thick this book is. That's a nice thick book. Nobody knows about this edition. 263 pages, my friends. Often in full color. Look at this. The beauty of this. Man, Windsor McKay was a genius. And beyond that, just the beauty, the sheer beauty of this comic strip it is incredible. These were recolored uh, for this edition. So... You do not get the actual old newspaper colors, but what a job. And, uh, yes, indeed. I'm very pleased with this. And, uh, yes, indeed. Oh, look at this. Here's when they go to the zoo or something. Or, no, there's a parade. Man, oh, man. If you can make this image larger on your computers, uh, then have fun. Now here's a, here's a good winter scene. Let's get close here. I never read the the, the balloons in Little Nemo because they sure as hell aren't poetry, and they're not humor. But in any case, the drawings are just. This guy could have designed the whole Chicago World's Fair. Came a little later, but he was kind of uh, basically New York based. But I think his whole thing really was that he was printed in Chicago papers. Um, Windsor McKay. Walt Disney said uh, Windsor McKay was the chief inspiration for for him. And uh, he did Gertie the Dinosaur, one of the first animated cartoons. Oh, little Sammy Sneeze. He did Dreams of the Rare Bit Fiend. Here's a guy coming out of the, I believe, the dentists. <laughs> I've been to my dentist and I've had a few rare bit dreams. Anyway, there it is, folks. I remain Fred Weems. Good night.